Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am so excited um, to bring you this fun card. It is pretty cute because it is made with the cutest cows and the name is absolutely perfect. This is the punch bundle. So you get a punch, which is the cow builder punch. And then the stamp set, which is just, oh my gosh, literally the cutest stamp set ever. You have the chicken and the rooster and the baby chick. You have this cute little milk um, can. These cute little sunflowers. And then you have three different faces and three different bodies. You have an extra set of eyes and then the little nostrils and mouth for when you use the punch by itself so that you can give this cow some eyes and little nostrils on the muzzle. You can see the muzzle is a separate piece. And if you want to do um, the little horns for this one, you have the stamp to um, cut those out. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love it. And this is the little hair, you know, to put on the top of the little cow. So it's a really cute punch. And I've paired it today with the tailor-made tags. I love these. Ever since they came out, I have used them. I hope they never retire. They should just be a staple um, in our catalog, online store, whatever, forever, right? Because they're amazing. And so I'm going to show you how to put together this really cute card. Here is the inside. Cute little cow peeking at you. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I'm going to teach you how to make this card. So the base of our card is a piece of um, Daffodil Delight cardstock, and I cut it four and a quarter by 11 inches, and then I scored it in the middle at five and a half. And so we're going to join the corners. Make sure, I saw a little weirdness going on there. I just want to make sure it was good. Okay, and then this background paper, because today is DSP Monday, of course, that we're using is from the infamous Zany Zoo, or the Zoo Crew um, DSP, which is so fun. Um, is this not the funnest paper? So let's go ahead and just attach that, because absolutely we need to do it. And look at the cute little critters um, on the back. My glue hasn't been wanting to come out lately, and I don't know what I've done to my wrist, but I have, like, literally hurt my wrist. Um, I woke up one morning, and it just started hurting, and I don't know why. I don't know what I've done. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> All I know is that it hurts, and it's not a fun pain. And so this is probably the third or fourth day that I've been having the pain. And I really want it to go away. I don't know what I possibly could have done in my sleep to um, hurt myself. But uh, whatever it was, I hope that the bad guy lost, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So there's this cute background. And we're going to work on the inside of our card first. So the inside piece is the same size as this DSP which is four inches by five and a quarter. And so we are going to stamp. Actually, we're gonna do all of, kind of all the stamping at the same time. Um, so we have two of the, I'm not two, three of the smaller um, tags. And those are, oops, wrong one. I grabbed the wrong one in my basket. I guess I had another one in there. So it's the second smallest or the third largest um, tags. You need three of those. And then you need the second largest one of those. And it's the one with the angled edges. And then you want to cut three of these. And luckily that comes all together. So you're going to need three of those out of basic white and one out of the DSP. So just save a little corner of the designer series paper so that you can add your little um, 
reinforcer, okay? And then um, we're gonna do a little stamping and a little um, Stampin' Blending with our Stampin' Blend markers. So the first thing that I wanna do is just go ahead and get all the stamping done, then we'll do all the coloring and then we'll do all the assembling. Okay, so let's start with this and we're gonna put this cute little cow on the inside. So I'm gonna start, oh, and by the way, I've already um, stamped and punched this out. This is Fussy Cut and then this, I think this is the one from the punch. I can't remember, because yeah, this is the one from the punch. So I punched that out. And I've added a little bell for around his neck. I'll show you him, he's the full cow on the bottom. But I already went ahead and got something done because this is gonna be a little, quite a bit of a time consuming um, because there's just a lot of cows, right? I mean, like four cows, actually, yeah, four cows and some sunflowers and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna put some grass down here in the corner. So that's number one. And then on this large tag, we need some grass. I'll show you. So I have some grass on that bottom section. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna bring it down so I can see a little. And I'm gonna try and just get it, just three should be enough. I don't know if you can see me inking that up. I need to look through the um, lens of my phone camera and see what you guys are seeing because I have no idea where I'm at. All right, so there's the grass. That's what the grass is for this little cow. So we're just gonna put that over there. Um, let's go ahead and clean that and we're done with that punch. Um, that stamp, I mean, <laughs> not punch, <laughs> that stamp, we're done. So I'm gonna move that one out of our way. And next we're gonna bring in the one for the inside that has our little cow that's standing. So I need the body that's going in that direction, okay, with the, like they all have separate heads so that they can be punched separately. So I'm gonna ink this up all the way and I'm actually gonna grab a scrap and I've been using this scrap and I've been messing around with this set. I just think it's the cutest set. And I really need to make sure. Let me um, double check what we're seeing in the camera because I don't want to mess up. Okay, I'm gonna bring you down a little. All right, that's better. I feel like I have a little bit more freedom to bring you guys farther down. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp just his front two legs, but I'm just inking all of it up just to make sure I'm nice and inked. And I'm gonna place the feet down here near the bottom, okay? And part of that little um, spot on the cow will come out and part won't. So let's go ahead and just stamp that. All right, so there's the cow. And we're gonna, whoops, I don't know why I keep closing that, but I'm gonna clean that real quick. And then we're gonna add his head. And so there's three different heads to choose from. I like the one winking because um, the way that he is kind of peeking in from the side, I thought the wink was cute. So I'm gonna turn this on an angle so I can see, and I'm gonna try and line up the head kind of angled, like he's peeking his head in from the side of the card. So cute, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him. All right, we don't have to stamp any more heads, just little cow butts. So I'm gonna get that um, stamp out of the way. And we're gonna put him to the side and color when it's time to color. So let's bring in two tags, okay? And we'll flip back to the front so you can keep up with me. Woo, I don't want that to happen. All right, so we're gonna do one cow from one side and one cow from the other. So I have those stamps here, one on each side. So this one is the cow from that side. So I'm just gonna ink it up and we're gonna bring our little scrap here. And I want him to be coming from this direction like this, okay? So there's that one. Cute, so cute. And then let me clean so I don't get ink on myself. And I'm cleaning off the camera because you don't really need to see me clean, do you? Okay, so I'm gonna ink up that one with our, I'm gonna put that up there. I'm afraid I'm gonna stick the card in it. And then this one's gonna be the other direction. 
So we're gonna place them in here like this. And, whoops, there's that one. So cute. <laughs> Love it. All right, so that's it for the cow bodies because I've already stamped and punched out the one on the bottom. So I can put that one away. All right, so the next thing we're gonna stamp is going to be the sunflowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink those up and they happen to be on the same block as the other cow. The other cow is laying down and I wanted them to be standing so I didn't use that one. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp our sunflowers as best we can right here. All right, so there's our sunflowers. All right, the only thing we have left to stamp is our sentiment, and then we can start doing some coloring, okay? So the sentiment says, what's moo with you? And I love a good pun, that's fun. So what we're gonna do is bring this back in here, and I'm gonna put the little cow kind of on here so that I know where he's gonna be located so that I can stamp this in a good spot. What's moo with you, all right? And so that's it for stamping. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that and we can do a little coloring. So I'm gonna put away our Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad and our stamp. Okay, so let's start coloring. I guess we'll start with this cow and he's gonna get the dark basic black. I'm gonna bring you guys down because I like for you to be able to see what I'm doing, especially when I'm coloring and doing things like that. So we're gonna start with the dark basic black stamp and blend. And we're gonna do his tail, his hooves, and then his spots. And just take your time. I like to outline everything first, then I find it's a lot easier to fill in. All right, so let's do his hair. So cute, this cow. All right. That's it for basic black for right now. We're gonna come back to it. And then I'm using one of the Natural Tones blends, number 1000, which is from the Light um, set. They come in two packs. And so um, we're gonna do his inner ear and a little bit of his horns and then his little muzzle. I just felt like this was a good color for this dairy cow here. Actually, this one's the bull, right? Not the dairy cow. All right, so the last thing we need to color is the bell, and then this one will be ready. I'm using Dark Daffodil Delight, which is the same color I'm gonna use on the card, on the tag with the sunflowers, okay? All right, so this little guy is ready to be assembled in a minute, but we're not gonna do that yet. Let's color this one from the inside. This one doesn't have a bell, but we're just gonna do the hooves. And his spots, or her spots. And the little tuft of hair. So precious. All right, and again, the ears and the muzzle. And then this one is ready. We can attach this on the inside of our card in a minute. So let's put that one out of the way. All right, so we have three tags and three enforcers. So I'm gonna color the enforcers first. It's just simpler. So we're gonna do a daffodil light dark for one of them. 
And I'm using the brush tip because it's quicker. And I'm just stroking straight across like that. And I have a scrap piece underneath so I don't make a mess. So there's that one. I'm going to put it with the other one up there. You probably can't see it now. But let's move on to the next, which is Dark Sweet Sorbet. And again, I'm just going to do the same thing. Okay, move that one out of the way. And now Dark Boho Blue. I actually haven't used this dark boho blue very much. I like the lighter one better, um, but for this card, I felt like the light was the best way to go. I mean, the dark was the best way to go. All right, so now those reinforcers are done. Let me see. I don't even. I can't tell if you can see them, but they're in here now, and hopefully you can. Um, we're not going to attach them until we're done coloring. So this cow looking this way is going to get the dark boho blue. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the bullet tip. And I'm going to start here at the bottom. And I'm going to try and go around the cow so that I can make sure that he's nice and filled in. And I'm going to go around this side of the cow. And the same thing using the side um, fill in all right now we're going to outline the top and around and I'm going to bring this try to bring it even now I'm going to switch because it's much faster with the brush tip but I didn't want to mess up, so that's why I didn't use this one on the bottom where you could mess up your cow. All right, so I'm just coming through here like this, and I'm going to fill in around the cow with the brush tip. I'm just going to be a little extra careful and try and use the same kind of stroking like that. And I'm going to come in here real careful. And then same thing. And then all the way across. And then we're going to fill in again. And then right here. All right. We're going to let that dry. And we're going to move on to our Daffodil Delight Dark. And I am going to do the same thing, okay? First, this one is a little bit more intricate because, of course, the flowers are close together. And we don't want to color the flowers or the leaves. We just want to get around it. We want to do the background. So it's definitely more time-consuming, but well worth the effort. This is like the coolest um technique i think it's pretty cool all right so i'm just going to rotate my tag around to make it easy for myself to color around the leaves and all that and not color the actual flowers All right. All right, I'm gonna just bring this down and then I'm gonna come up here. I'm almost done filling around these sunflowers 
And then I can start using the brush tip. I just have to be careful. That I don't mess it up. Okay, I think I'm good. Let's switch. I just love how fast the brush tip colors, you know, but I just can't risk it when I'm in those intricate spots. But I am going to try and fill in slowly. And I'm not going to be able to get everything, of course. But I'm going to try and deposit color with that other tip as well. And we're almost to the top. All right, I think I got it. All right. All right, we're almost there. Pretty cool. I think this is the last spot that I missed. All right, let that dry. And on to the red. Same thing, guys. I should have done one of these ahead of time because my hand is starting to hurt. <laughs> because for some reason I've hurt myself. I don't know what I've done to this hand and wrist. But it has been giving me problems. It's probably tired from overuse. I literally use my hand all day, every day. In March, um, I might be taking a little break. I have to figure out what I'm going to do, but I'm considering it because um, convention, Stampin' Up's convention is going to be in Houston, and I'm going, so very exciting. All right. I like to try and get that even look. And I think that when I fill in and go back over, it helps. All right, so there is All right. Let that dry. I feel like oof, I don't know. Did I miss that side? I don't know if I did or not. I'm going to go over all of it. I think it's just drying at its own rate and I'm overthinking it. Okay, so while we're waiting for that stuff to dry, I'm going to move my um, Stampin' Blends out of here and my scrap paper. <laughs> and we're going to start putting this together. So let me raise you guys back up again. And we're going to do a little assembly. Okay. I like to hold on because I have dropped this camera before. So it is very possible that I will do it again. All right, we're good. Let's assemble. So first thing we're gonna do is put all of these pieces on our um, tags. So we're gonna get our glue on all of them to make it quick and easy. I'm going to grab my tweezers. All right, so this red tag gets the blue, the boho blue, pretty. Oh my gosh, I love these reinforcers. 
the yellow gets the red. Obviously, it's not going to get the yellow, right? I can't put the same color. Oops. This one wants to go next. <laughs> so we'll grab it. And it's going to go on the large tag. Black and white. All right. And then the yellow on the blue. All right. Next step. Next step, let's glue the inside of our card and then we have to put dimensionals on everything else. And you guys know how much I use dimensionals. Actually, I see the little tip of this red tag is not saturated. There we go. We're good now. All right, let's put some adhesive on our inside. And then on our um, on our tags, we're gonna pop them up with dimensionals. And so we're gonna be using quite a few dimensionals. So I'm gonna grab the outside pieces of a mini, of a mini pack of dimensionals. Okay, and I need to grab my, my um, eraser. Okay, so cute. How cute is that kitty, oh, that cute cow? All right. So let's grab the, I thought I had one, but maybe I don't. Let me grab the outside edges. Here's a completed one, okay? And we're gonna use these because it will be way quick. Okay, so let's flip over. And we're gonna do a little cutting. And do one whole side here and then we'll start putting it together okay let's put the bottoms in these don't want to peel off and my nail is super short because I banged it really hard making my bed right onto my headboard oh my gosh I almost saw stars and um when I banged it I cracked the nail so of course I had to cut it super short I'm gonna put one in the middle here I had to cut it really short because I didn't want it to um tear and then I would be in more pain, right? So I had to, um, all right, this one's gonna go in the corners and then I'll put one more right there. And then we have this one done. So that's gonna live right there. All right, on to the blue, same concept I love using these edges though. Um, they're just awesome, aren't they? Oh my gosh, I love them. So that one is gonna be weird and then this one's gonna be a little weird, but the rest should be pretty easy. I'm just gonna do the weird ones first to get them off of here. And then of course we gotta do down the middle too, right? There's one and one more. Okay, so there's that one. Again, same process with my bad nail. 
Oh, you can see I kind of messed that one up and I used the back end. I forgot that I did that <laughs> until I flipped it over. It's okay. It happens. I'm good with it. That's why each paper has two sides. Thank God for that, right? Sometimes it's hard to get these off. And then we gotta put two in the middle. One and two. All right, that's that one. Oh, that one I didn't stick on very good because guess what? I didn't realize it did, the back didn't come off. There we go. All right, now we're ready. Number two. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. All right, I have one of these already cut. The rest we're gonna have to cut. I don't know why they peel um, when they're the edges, but they do. All right, let's do some cutting here. Two pieces for the middle, one and two. All right, do all these have enough? I think I'm gonna put one more here and one more on this one. Yeah, all right. So now we have all of these pieces that are ready and we gotta get our little cow ready. So let's use minis, cause they fit perfect on the cow's tail and each foot of the cow, they fit on there perfectly. All right. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in with the rest because this cute little cow All right, he's ready. We gotta put one here for the head. All right, and then for the head itself, it's gonna need some support. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm gonna put his little face right there and I'm gonna need some support because it's gonna be actually on here. So I'm gonna use the edges. I'm gonna cut two pieces. One right at the end there. And I have to pull the back off of it. It has to be double or else it won't fit because see how the head was popped up so it's lower. All right, let's put this on. All right, our little cow is ready. So now we gotta pull all the backs. All right, let's attach. Let's attach. I forgot I have that piece to glue, I haven't glued. Let's attach the large tag first. So let's get the take your picture tool. And then we're gonna start, we're gonna put these here like this, and we're gonna start with the middle sunflower um, tag. All 
because it's the easiest to line up. And I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna turn this sideways. And I'm gonna put it in the middle of these two. And it goes to the top. So like right there. I'm not gonna push it hard because I just wanna make sure that these fit and they do. and that it's straight. Okay, let's do one side and then the other. We'll put the little head on our cow, I mean, not the head, our little full cow on our tag, and we'll be done. I hope you guys like this card. It's super cute. And this one's gonna come down. So what I want is like the top of this tag to kind of be equal with this edge right here, okay? Make sure it's straight. All right, on to the last one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, I'm lifting this up so I can see, and then, well, I'll just turn it sideways, and then that way you guys can see. I just wanna make sure that we're even. I'm not gonna push it real hard because, again, I don't, wanna, I don't want it to be even, and I have to double check. All right, that looks good, except it has to move over a little. There we go. All right, so there's that. Now let's attach our little cow, and then we'll glue that strip on the inside. So cute. All right, so here's our cute little bull with his cowbell on so we know where he is if he gets out, right? All right, so what I wanted to explain, I see that that part of the head is on the tag and I wanted to have some support, so I had to add a little dimensional there, but how cute is that? All right, let's glue to the inside and then we're, we're all done. Oh, look, a little bunny. Love the bunny. Alrighty. Fantastic. Let's open it and put this at the very top. I love this paper. It's so cute. So there's our card. What's Moo with you? So cute. Again, we used the Cutest Cows Bundle, which is the Cow Builder Punch and the Cutest Cow Stamp Set, and the Tailor Made Tags. And how adorable is this card? I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me put it together. I know it was a little bit long of a video, but oh my gosh, so worth it. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate you so much. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping!